He was hearing crying and crying and crying. And then after the tornado, the crying stopped. And it's what she said was the crying was horrible, but when it stopped, it was worse. Oh, teachers, parents, and students from Plaza Towers Elementary School in Moore, Oklahoma, got together for the first time yesterday since Monday's deadly tornado. They lost seven students at that school, six from one third grade class alone. And now the principal and several teachers are speaking out for the first time in an exclusive interview with NBC's Kate Snow. She's joining us live tonight from Moore. Kate, thanks for joining us tonight. Can you talk a little bit about what it sure. was like talking to the principal? I mean, that is absolutely heart-wrenching to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was a tough interview personally to do uh, without crying. Uh, you just feel for this woman. Amy Simpson's been the principal for three years. She's lived here all her life. She grew up in these schools. And to walk around that school with her yesterday, as we did, she went back for the first time since Monday, and she's looking at the debris and all of her things and, and, and all of her students' you know, textbooks and toys strewn everywhere. And it's very emotional. You know, what you'll hear tonight is the heroism of those teachers and that principal. The things they had to do to stay alive on Monday are astounding, dramatic stories. And, and I think that's the highlight here. Yes, they lost seven little lives, and they're, they're torn up about that, and they're devastated. But they also saved hundreds of more. Now, Kate, too, this was the first time that students and teachers were able to meet and come together after the tornado. What was this like for them? This had to have been tough. Yeah. It was tough, but also a lot of smiles and hugs. You know, they imagine that they had been separated since Monday, and these little kids didn't know where their teachers were and if their teachers were okay. So it was really important, I think, for them to have that last day of school. Yesterday was meant to be their last day of school, so they got together for one last day to have those hugs and those tears, and now they're going off for summer break, hoping to rebuild, hoping to have a place where they can meet again as a school in the fall. Well, we've seen the nation, of course, that wants to just reach out and help everyone in Oklahoma, especially the kids in school. What do you think they're going to be able to do looking forward? They need to clean up, but how are they going to band together through this? I know a yeah. lot of it has been community support. Right. Well, community support's been huge. I'm looking right now at people who've come out to help the victims of this tornado. It's been, it's been incredible. But also outpouring from the rest of the country to here. There are funds set up now to help the school rebuild. They're going to be looking at whether they have the money now to build safe rooms or shelters in the new schools that they build. I think there's going to be a lot of talk about policy moving forward and whether Oklahoma perhaps ought to require those kind of rooms. They don't right now in Oklahoma. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, Kate Snow, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate your thoughts. And, of course, you can see Kate Snow's exclusive interview with the principal of Plaza Towers Elementary School. That's tonight on Rock Center. It airs tonight at 10 o'clock right here on Wood TV 8.